Good morning. <coughs> it is still morning. Just ish. It's uh, five past ten. And it's the 17th today, but I haven't changed the calendar yet. <laughs> um, I have had quite a productive morning so far. Um, we're still kind of getting the house back together after having all the work done. Um, they finished, gosh, they only finished on Tuesday. This is their last day. Um, um, but it feels like much longer ago somehow so I kind of feel a little bit less bad I'd like to be feeling guilty that the house was still not pulled back together but it was only Tuesday and this morning is my first child free completely child free um morning so well and it's my only child free morning um tomorrow I am working in the morning from 7 or till 12 and then we're gonna try and wrap up Christmas shopping tomorrow afternoon. I don't really know what we need to get. I know I need to get the all the boys need to get Andrew a present. No idea. But um and then I need to get some stocking stuffers for Andrew. So yeah. I have no idea what I'm gonna get. I usually just do like useful things like socks and pens and like some chocolate or something like that so still feeling quite full of gunk uh, as you can probably tell from my voice but definitely feeling like the antibiotics are doing something um, so really glad that I've got those so tomorrow yeah working and then shopping and then Sunday um, is solstice, winter solstice, so, oh no, it's not, no, Tuesday, next Tuesday is winter solstice, but my parents are coming over on Sunday, um, for our, to have a meal with us for solstice, so we'll do a couple of, like, little things, we'll probably go for a walk, um, and we might do some kind of craft or something, I don't know, not really decided, Aiden said that he wants to make a sun, when he came back from nursery yesterday. So I'm kind of like, oh, I wonder if I could do some kind of sun related craft um, that we could make on Sunday with my parents. That would seem quite fitting. So yeah, I've done a lot of organizing and sorting in our bedroom, which feels so good because now it's tidy and mostly put back together and yeah, our bedroom became, like, one of the prime dumping grounds. That was, like, our bedroom, the kitchen had a lot of stuff in it. It still does have a lot of stuff in it. But the kitchen had a lot of stuff in it. And Aiden's bedroom. We tried to keep the stuff to a minimum in Aiden's bedroom. He had, like, there's, there's a box in there still. And he had a chair, like a, an armchair that's normally in Rory's room. So... The armchair is now out, but our bedroom was still a bit all over the place and Rory was taking a little bit of time to adjust to being back in his bedroom after being in our bed for four weeks. So um, we were still not really getting our evenings where we could go into our room and tidy up and sort things out. So there was a lot of laundry hanging around, um, but I've now organised all of that. I basically just put it into bags so usually I pull it out of the washing machine or the dryer and it goes into a bag well when it comes out of the dryer or off the airer it goes into a bag and then that bag just gets taken upstairs and then at some point I sort it into um three bags it's like Andrew's bag my bag and then the boys room bag and Andrew is in charge of putting away his clothes and I put away my clothes and then one of us puts away the boys clothes um, and that's just how it works um, and so it usually means that the boys clothes get put away and me and Andrew live out of bags <laughs> until we're like we need a bag I, I need an empty bag so um, we use like we've got one of these just currently full of 
stuff that needed to come downstairs from our bedroom. But we used the um, like IKEA big IKEA bags um, for putting stuff in laundry and things like that. They're really useful for that. So yeah. So it's now ten past ten. I've been talking for five minutes. I've just taken my second lot of antibiotics for the day, so now I get to wait like half an hour or so, and then I can have a mid-morning snack because I'm a bit peckish. <clears throat> my plan now is to empty this basket out, maybe tidy up the breakfast things that are still on the table. Boop, boop. Um, and then I think I am happy with the amount of stuff I've gotten done this morning, so I'm going to take like maybe an hour to do a bit of knitting. And then, um, and then I'll probably put some laundry on. I should probably put the laundry on now, and then that can be going while I'm knitting, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sort this basket and do some knitting. So if you've watched previous year's vlogs, this is the new setup. So that's our new tree. We're going to decorate it this weekend. We got to get a new topper, because the topper was just sitting right So I am just enjoying my knitting time, working on something for Aiden, um, which I should be able to get finished for Christmas because the one I made for Rory, um, I think I finished in like two evenings. So I'm making these little pixie hoods. Originally I was going to do them um, for like sun and advent sunday gifts um but i don't think well i'm not bothered about that now because i haven't done that at all on any of the other advent sundays so maybe if they're done by sunday they can have them on sunday instead but they can just be for christmas now so this is yeah this one's rory's i wish i could tell you oh i can tell you what the yarn is this is something i got from my mum in a d-stash that she did, she just got rid of all of her yarn because she was like, I'm not going to use this um, so I got it all which was quite nice it is um, Mirasol Hacho Mirasol, yeah and so one pixie hood took pretty much 50 grams and then I did a little um tube sock thing to go in his wellies but I think this is going to be much much too small I just got I got done <laughs> I was done knitting it so we'll see um it might be okay um yeah and the yarn I'm using here is by Skein and Stitch it's the Alexandrite colorway I bought this back in the summer ish time um because it's the boy's birthstone I was going to knit them both a pair of socks, but I think it'll make a really nice pixie hood. Um, and given that it uses, the pixie hood seems to use so little yarn, I might be able to make something for Rory as well. So there we go. Yeah, yeah. I'm all home and very happy. <laughs> I'm not asleep. Um, I'm very excited because the post is outside and I'm getting a very exciting parcel today so I will open that when it comes in I can't wait I'm very excited <laughs> okay so I don't think that everything that I was expecting is in this parcel just looking at the shipping note this is still exciting Ooh. Okay, it's still exciting. This is my Christmas present from Andrew. 
list. Okay. Okay. So this is my Christmas present from Andrew. It is the Homespun House holiday box of Puga. <coughs> it's festive on the outside, look. It's got baubles and stuff on it. I'm gonna open it and see if it's in another box inside. And if it's not, I'm just gonna shut it up really quick. <laughs> okay, no, it looks like... Looks like it is not in another box. So... And um, pop this under the tree for Christmas. I might have to put it somewhere else actually. Because it's got some delicate things in. I'm so excited. I'm not looking. <laughs> So only a week, just over a week to wait. Um, but yeah, I'm expecting another parcel from, a, this is from a homespun house, did I say that? I'm expecting another parcel from a homespun house with um, two yarn clubs in. I got, I think she said she had a couple of last year's Christmas at Hogwarts and then she did this year's Christmas at Hogwarts and I wanted it. So, uh, so I ordered them. So hopefully they will be here soon. Very excited about that. Oh, I can't wait to open my Christmas present. I didn't think it was going to arrive because I knew Molly had been sick. So I didn't know whether or not that meant that there was a delay. But it's here and I'm happy. Hmm. It's going to go somewhere else so that it's not crushed by children. So I'll take that upstairs later. I finally got dressed. It's like nearly four o'clock <laughs> and I'm like in actual clothing. Um, I was in like, oh, where's the top gone? Um, I was in like my loungewear I guess <coughs> but I'm about to go and get Aiden so I needed to actually wear proper clothing I'm ready. hello Bronnie <coughs> How you doing? 